Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 23rd of April 2023. The temperature is still in around the million degrees mark here in Bangkok. It is outrageously oppressive heat that we are facing at the moment. <laughs> really, I mean I've been here for 35 years and uh, I think this could be the hottest I've known it to be. It just is incredibly hot every day. There's no let up no rain to cool us down, no clouds. We have the uh, pollution, uh, of course, but we don't, um, <laughs> which will cover some of the maybe UV rays, I don't know. Uh, but we don't really have much many clouds in the sky. It is just hot. <laughs> Nothing else to say, really. Uh, speaking of hot, I see uh, a restaurant burnt down in Madrid. Unfortunately, a couple of people actually died uh, when apparently... A waiter tried to flambe a pizza. Am I missing something? Is this some? Is this a thing? Flambeing pizza. I mean, I've you know seen many kinds of desserts flambeed in the past, and the occasional entree is also uh, I've seen flambeed, but I've never seen a pizza flambeed. This is a weird thing. Anyway, it went disastrously wrong, burnt down the whole restaurant, and unfortunately, some people died and some were injured. Yuck. Uh, need to work on your flambeing skills, Spanish waiters. Right, let's get on with the game of Sudoku. It's time for the New York Times hard level puzzle. Tricky one most days of the week. Just a quick reminder, if you're here for a notation free game, well, you might be disappointed because this isn't a channel that supports that style of play very much. Um, I'll have a bash, but I probably won't get very far with it. Um, in that fashion. But I promise you, I will get you to the end of the game. Uh, so that's if that's your most important reason for being here, stay a while. Welcome and stay a while. Uh, all right, let's see what else we can see. Anything going on with these eights? I'm not sure. Uh, should we... Um, six, two... Uh, just checking to see if anything uh, looks doable from the eights here. Uh, not sure. All right, let's go through the digits and see if we find uh, an, a way in, a way to begin. Uh, find something useful. Ones are in no squares. That might be useful. Uh, it might be. Or maybe it won't be. We know the twos are over here. So we've got ones there. We've got twos here in this block. We've also, because the twos have no room for anything up there, we have twos there and twos there. Okay, I'll try to keep that in mind have threes up there if that proves useful later or not fours okay we have fours across here now am i dreaming or did i just say that something else was here yes twos there we go we've got twos blocking across here like this and we've got four blocking across here and down here so we definitely have a pair of two and four right here and we know that one is in those squares so this is two four so we're looking for one three and nine to go in these three squares. We know the ones are there. We know that's got to be a three or a nine, but that may not be helpful enough. One, three, nine. Ah, oh, two, four. Uh, okay, how about over here? Anything we that looks promising. One, three, five, eight, I guess. Um, don't know about that. Hmm. Okay. Back to our quick search. So fours will be over here. Fours are, oops, up there. 
fours are down here. Uh, don't have enough info over there for the moment. We have a pair of fives in these squares. We have fives down here. One, so we've got ones there. We've got twos and fives here and four. Okay. Okay, I believe we've got two, four, and five in those squares now. Oh, no, it can't be. We've got four up here. What am I talking about? Forget that. Cancel that idea. If you ever want to know if I really play these games live or if I record, if I try them out first, and then <laughs> you'll know that I never practice ahead of time or work out anything. And you'll see me making mistakes live. Yes, that's right. Um, fives are there. Uh, other stuff I'm not sure about apart from the fives up here just for the moment. Let's keep looking Okay, six up here six down here and six across here. Let's get on with the six like that um, mm -mm -mm. Okay, pair of sixes down here Ah, okay, we've got sevens in those squares, so we uh, now I think we have something. We've got twos in those squares, so twos are somewhere down here, right? We've got fives blocking down here, so fives are there, and we've got sevens in there. So we do have two, five, seven in these squares. So this is one and nine. Right, one and nine. Uh, must be one and nine in those squares. So this is the other number. Now, the other number was through three wasn't it yes because this was two four so three has to fit there then we have threes down to the bottom here and across here so we'll place our three there And we shall continue working. Um, uh, right, so this is uh, 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 257, right? So what are we left with here? 257. Uh, four, do we know anything about the four? No. Six, do we know? Yes, it's in those squares. We knew that already. And nine. Okay, so this is a pair of six and nine in those squares. Right? And then this is going to have to be the four. If I can find the right key on the keyboard. Ah, now we have four blocking down here and down here and across here. So that will give us four in that square we'll be left with fours over there up here we have fours like this and over here we have four anywhere but we can say four like this so we get the four there and remember this was a four two pair so we get our two here then two blocks up here and across here that gives us a two in that square there we'll be left with two up here and Uh, no, nah, didn't quite make it. Okay. Uh, six blocks this square here. We need a six in this column, so that will be the six, and we'll finish the column with the nine. Uh, nine blocks all of these three squares. We know that's our nine there, or we already knew what these three squares were anyway, so same thing. Now we've got four and nine blocking across here, four and nine blocking across here, so we definitely know that these squares can only contain four and nine. How does that help us? Well, we've got the one across here and the one down here, so that's got to be a one. Uh, it's four and nine. Twos are in those two squares there which we already knew. Threes are here. 
Uh, don't know if that means anything. Four, five, sixes are somewhere up there. Three, six. Okay, we have eights across here and across here, so we'll get our eight there. <clears throat> Aha, we have eight and five up here, eight and five across here, so we've got a pair of eight and five in these squares now. Where do we go next? Uh, well, that means that the one blocking down here and up here will put a one into that square. We have one across here, and that gives a one here, and the last number there is a nine. Okay. Uh, missing numbers up here are 5, 8, and 9. We've got 5, 8 blocking this square, so that's got to be a 9. Right, let's keep on moving. Now, what I've forgotten, what it was that I discovered here, I what was it, 5, 8, wasn't it, across here and 5 it up here. So, okay, so we've got 5 and 8 in those squares. We're still looking for the 3, the 4, and the 6. So we've got 4 and 6 in those squares, so that has got to be the 3. Uh, then we'll take the three down here, down here, and across here. That will give us three in that square. Three across this row, across this row, and up here puts the three there. Three up, up, and across here gives us a three there. Ah, that's our first completed digit. Um... Right, uh, I think we're making good progress. Uh, one thing that's good here is that we're making good progress right across the grid, I think, rather than in one section. I, th I always find that to be helpful. Um, now, we know this is 4 and 6, right, so we can get this number. We had 4 and 6 blocking across here, 4 and 6 blocking across here. This is 4 and 6, so this has to be a 7. Right, okay, I was off exploring various avenues there, which didn't lead to anything. That's okay. That's the game of Sudoku, isn't it? Uh, okay, I've got something now. Uh, we've got one blocking this square, or one blocking this square, and one blocking this square. So in this column, that has to be our one. Then we could say ones across these two rows. That will give us a digit one up there. Uh, what are we left with here? Six, seven, mm, can't tell those just yet. We have two blocking down these two columns here, so that puts the two into uh, that square. We're missing two, five, seven here. Well, two, five, seven, one of each, so. <laughs> Can't quite do that just yet. Okay, four and nine block across here. That's going to put four and nine into that square, and that will leave us with a six just here.
I think I'm going to click through the digits and see um, if there's anything that's outstanding. Uh, we've only got three finished, but it, the puzzle is coming along very well, I think. Quite pleased with how it looks so far. Uh, okay, missing digits in this column are two, five, and eight, I do believe. And we've got five and eight in the same row. So that has to be the two then. So now we can say two down here, down here, and across here. I think that's going to really help us solve the puzzle, actually. Two across here and across here gives us a two in that square. Now we're just missing something here. Six. No, can't be a six. Five. Okay, and then there's one number to get up here, which I think is an eight. Yes. And so the eights block across like this. That will give us an eight in that square there. Eight up here, eight up here, and eight across here gives us an eight there. Uh, eight back this way, up here and across here. There's an eight. That's the eight, actually, the final digit eight. So well done, digit eight. Thank you. We thank you for your service. Please come again in the next Sudoku. We have one blocking here. That's going to put one into that square. One blocks up here. There's our digit one. Also now dead. Five uh, hits here. Five blocks across here and gives us a five in that square there. Um, no, nope, can't finish off the fives just yet though. Uh, however, there is another one we can get because of this five blocking here. We can now place a seven in this square here. We need a seven to finish this block. Seven blocks up there, gives us a seven there. Seven then blocking across here and up these two columns means that this will be our seven. And then across here, here's our seven. We can finish this block now with a six. And the sixes block across the top two rows, giving me a six here. And then one down here, giving the Final digit six, the missing digit here now is a four. If I can find the right key on the keyboard, four blocks down here. Here's the four, four blocks up here. Here's the final digit four. One number to go down here. What are you? You are a nine. We have nine blocking across here, which gives us a nine there. Nine blocking back that way, giving us a nine here. And here we're looking for a five and up there is a five. And that's our much easier than normal New York Times hard level game, but an enjoyable game. I, I liked the way that it shaped out anyway. See you another time. Bye bye.